Oh yeah. What's up everybody? Jesse Slot City Fishing. Wind is howling on the beach today, so I figured it'd be time better spent talking about some surf carts hanging out in the backyard, having some cold ones. So we got a bone stock, surf fishing mate senior, and then my heavily modded cart. And what we're gonna do is talk about a beginner setup with rods, reels, everything, and then a more advanced surf fishing setup. Uh, that way you can decide whether or not you want to do some more of these mods. Check it out. All right, guys, we'll start with the carts. These both are Fishing Mate Senior carts. This one is bone stock. This one has a ton of upgrades on it. And what I'm going to do is from the ground up, explain every feature why uh, doing these mods is going to help you have a more enjoyable experience. Disclaimer before we start this video. All of this stuff, all of this money, it will not help you catch more fish. It will not. If you come out here with this stuff and you put your baits in the same baits in the same spot, you will catch just as much, if not more or none, depending on the conditions, fish. But having nice stuff will definitely uh, enhance your experience, is what I like to say. So, we'll start with the uh, wheels. The stock wheels on this cart are rubber wheels, inflatable, and you'll see here they're on a bushing, not on a bearing, right? These wheels do not go through sand very well. All the weight of this cart is going to be pushed down on this small wheel with not a lot of surface area, and even though these are wheels, you're going to be dragging this cart through the sand, all right? This cart in its current form is a pull cart, which means that the handle is on the front and you pull it. And the difference between that and these wheelies is these have bearings on the inside. And believe me, everyone says it that upgrades to these, they wish that they had done it sooner. Uh, and it's a game changer. You, like, you can't go back from, the, from these. Once you have these, yeah, you know, you'd be like, wow, I should have done this a long time ago. There's a lot of new companies that are making all kinds of mods and they're selling it. But I'm telling you, nobody can convince me that theirs are better than these. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I'm out of respect for the other companies. I'm not going to name them, but wheelies are the ones that I recommend. They're stupid expensive right now. And the way to do it is to go on Facebook Marketplace and wait until a used cart comes up or a kayak carrier that has these on it and then buy it just for the wheels and then put the wheels on your new cart now let's talk about coolers i recommend using cheap coolers you probably already have one of these in your garage that you carry in your truck or whatever to the beach already before you got your cart uh, cheap coolers are good because you're going to put fish in it it's going to get nasty um, this one is just a small Coleman cooler that actually was my dad's. I've had it for years and years and years, and he probably used it as a fishing cooler as well. Uh, but it has this nice little hatch on it. It's a small cooler, but that's fine because all the legal game fish that you're going to catch on the beach, they're small. Uh, you could argue like a big shark or something like that, but that's typically not what people are targeting out there. Your big pompano, uh, upper slot redfish, all that will fit in here completely fine. Now let's talk about the coolers on the upgraded cart. So a lot of people ask me all the time, when are you going to upgrade your cooler? Well, I love this cooler. I do have a fancy roto molded cooler that has C deck on it with my logo and it looks awesome and it holds ice for days. It's cool, but that thing is heavy, 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 heavy. When you're out surf fishing, you want your rig to be light. This big cart has a higher capacity than this one and it weighs probably half and it's old beat up. I actually bought this cart and the cooler together uh, and it wasn't that expensive at the time. Things are really expensive now. But we'll talk about my cooler on my cart. This is just a big igloo cooler. Uh, they still sell these everywhere. I'm not sure the size, but you'll recognize it in the store. There's some things about this cooler that I really like. And uh, we'll start on the inside. These hatches and um, Hand, uh, clasps whatever you call them these broke and I it I don't mind because I actually take the lid completely off a lot of the times and I'll throw it in the sand or whatever just to get it out of the way and uh, in the back I'll show you if it were still on the hinges I wouldn't be able to open and close the the cooler 
uh, as easily as I would like to. But this inner part, this is just complete coincidence, uh, is from another cooler and it fits completely like perfect. Like you couldn't have made this any more perfect. And when I have the lid on the cooler, it makes it to where there's two compartments. There's a dry compartment and then where I keep all the uh, ice in there and the fish. So if I want my drinks or whatever separate, not getting fish nasty, instead of having two coolers, I got two coolers in one. Now I'll show you uh, these ice packs. This is a really cool thing if you're not doing it already. Uh, you can do this with gallons of water, uh, but these are freezer packs that came in like a Hello Fresh thing or something, but you can buy uh, anything like this and you freeze it uh, before and after your trips and then put them in here now you don't have to buy ice because ice believe it or not if you buy it over and over and over again you don't even realize it but you're spending hundreds of dollars on ice so another feature that i did is this was made by c turf which is a company in jacksonville it's very similar to c deck but he did the the flooring the decking on my boat and he made me these rulers to go on my surf fishing cart if you contact him, I know that he'll make you this. Uh, and there's some other places you can pick up something like this, but you can make it personal or whatever. But he cut me these uh, to put on my cooler. And I cut it down to fit it perfectly on the lid out to 28 inches. And the reason why is a upper slot legal redfish is 27 inches. So any legal species of game fish on the beach that I want to catch, I can measure him in, on here and make sure that he's in regulations. Uh, and then also, I'm a content creator and I make videos. This is a very easy way for me to lay down a fish, quickly measure it, and you can see the measurements on there in the video. So I really like that. I think it's neat. And I got it on both sides. That way, whatever side of the cooler I'm on, I have a ruler uh, ready to go. All right, now we're going to talk about lift kits. It does a few things for you. Uh, the first purpose is in the name. It's a lift kit. It raises my cooler up. That way, I can just reach into my cooler without having to bend over 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 the whole day it saves my back it's more convenient i use this as a cutting board you can see on here i got some knife marks on it um but yeah it raises it up i can't even reach this cooler uh when it's down low like that but this is some bougie stuff man you don't have to have that it's just nice the other thing that this does for you is this particular lift kit is custom made there's other companies that make lift kits that are just bolt-on, but they're not like this one. This one is a tucked frame. When I say tucked, I mean my axles are cut down and the wheels are actually underneath the cart. And the reason why that is cool is I can wheel this cart through a standard door frame. So if I'm at a place where I'm afraid my cart is going to get stolen, or if I'm staying at a hotel, I can wheel this right through a regular door frame. It goes through no problem. Your uh, ones that you buy from those other companies that are making the bolt-on ones, they don't do that. You have to get that custom. Uh, another thing is it has storage underneath it. So if you take your significant other out, family, friends, or whatever, they're going to bring extra stuff that you got to find a place to put on your cart. This one, you don't have any place to do it. You're going to end up carrying it, which defeats the whole purpose of having the cart from the get-go. On this one now, I have storage underneath the cart. So I can carry uh, chairs, uh, umbrella, toys, whatever, a big sand flea rake if I had one. Uh, lots of storage underneath it, and it makes it to where it's completely transparent. I don't even realize that it's on the cart, and the cart rolls so smoothly through the sand that the additional weight uh, doesn't mm -hmm. really make a huge difference. So that are, that's the reason why you want to get a lift kit. Uh, is pretty cool. The downside to having tucked wheels is it does make it to where the um, tipping point going forward and backwards uh, it is a little more unstable. But I can tell you that I've been fishing this thing very hard now and I haven't yet been in a situation where I thought that the cart was going to tip and that is also fishing on some steep uh, gradient uh, beaches. So I love it. Um, I would recommend tucking your wheels in. Next up, we'll talk about the bucket carrier. This thing is absolutely legit. I love it. 
The bucket itself is a Fish Bites bucket. You can pick it up on their website, and it's cool because it has this heavy-duty handle on it, and then also it's got an additional handle on the bottom, so it's very easy to like scoop water and stuff like that, and it just looks cool. I'm not going to lie. A big part of doing all these mods and stuff like that is making it how you want it and how you enjoy you know, looking at it and the experience and all that stuff. I also use this as a backdrop uh, to show stickers for all the companies that are cool enough to work with me. Uh, you see True Braid, DS Custom Tackle, Fish Bites, uh, Over the Bar Rods. I, I do this that way that I can get their stuff uh, into my videos because they deserve it. And I just like the way it looks, man. It's cool. It's personalized. Uh, but this uh, bucket carrier is a stock one made by Fish and Mate. You can buy it off their website. I don't get a kickback from them. That They're just like the only ones that make it. You can probably get a custom one made, but you can buy an off-the-shelf one. The bucket is awesome on the beach because I use it to dispatch and bleed out my fish. And then also I can throw a cast net and put my bait in there. So whenever I catch a fish, I want to bleed them out, which makes your fish taste tremendously better if you're not already doing that. I'll just go down to the water line, scoop up some water, put it down in the sand, uh, cut the gills, let the fish swim in the water. Uh, and then that will get all the blood out of the fish. That way it doesn't do nasty things inside the fish while it's, you know, after you killed it. And it makes your fish taste way better. Uh, I also use this to rinse the cart after I'm done fishing. And then I keep my cast net in the cooler, but I can throw bait. Uh, so here pretty soon, like the greenies and all the little live bait that swims on the beach, mullet or whatever. You can keep them alive in your cooler. Now you got a, a place to store your live bait. All right, so I haven't mentioned it yet, but all the aluminum fabrication mods on this cart, they were done by Surf Fishing Solutions out of Jacksonville, Florida, a guy named Brian Curlett. There's a lot of companies that are making mods on surf carts right now because surf fishing at, on a whole is growing. It's becoming more popular uh, you know, because of YouTube and the accessibility and more tourism coming to the beaches and stuff like that. But... Brian is the OG surf cart builder. You can ask anyone who's, you know, done this, all the Facebook pages about surf cart mods. He is the guy, man. And I was lucky enough before I moved from Jacksonville uh, to commission him to build this cart for me. And I waited for years to do it, and I regret it. I should have done it right off the rip. But the reason that you want to get Brian to design your cart is you're going to take your stuff to him and he's going to build this cart around the way that you fish and the equipment that you have. And it's personalized. So I showed him that this is how I like to have my spread with my rods and my uh, bait tray and all that stuff. And he was like, well, here's a cool thing that you can do that I never would have thought of. Is on my bucket, you can cut a notch on here. And then it's going to be hard to see on video. But on the inside of the rod tube... There's a metal uh, like cross member down there. This notch catches on that and sits in it so that my bucket will sit at a perfect 45 and the bucket holder can't move while I'm rolling down the beach. So there's a lot of other cool things I'm going to show you that Brian did. But when you take your stuff to him, that's the kind of attention to detail that you're going to get. That you're not going to get from buying uh, some stuff off the shelf and just doing it yourself. The next mod that I want to talk about is this. I don't know what you would call this. Rod holder extensions maybe. But the purpose of it is it keeps your rods more vertical. I'll show you on the stock surf fishing mate cart look at how much these rods can move in this rod holder like i can cross and bang these rods up together right if you have hooks on the rods like that like i have on these i got all my rigs on there those hooks are gonna fly around bang together and you're gonna hook all your rods together and you're gonna spend a lot more time untangling line than you are fishing so a big theme with this whole thing is it's convenience and time. The things that will save you time will catch you more fish. The people who are out there who are catching more fish than you, it's not because they're better fishermen. They, they might be slightly better, but it's because they have more hooks with bait on them in the water longer than you do. That is the secret. That's it. So this hack, what I did is one and a quarter inch thin wall PVC. 
you can buy this at Lowe's and then this one I just had it in my garage from a shelf but it's the same dimensions but you can buy that PVC from Lowe's and then you can rattle can spray it whatever color you want to make it custom but I'll save you some frustration the bottom of these they're not all the same there's metal cross members in here that keep the uh, rods from going all the way through them they're at different heights so do them individually don't cut all of them the same length because you're going to have to do it again you'll thank me later on that but what i did is i put the pvc in there up to the real seat so that's the highest point at which i want there to be play because i don't want it to bounce around on the real seat itself and then i got a heat gun and i heated just the tip got it to where it was pliable and then I pushed it down on this Worcestershire bottle. And it has to be a Worcestershire bottle. Just kidding. It can be a wine bottle or a beer bottle or whatever. But what that'll do is it'll flare out this. So now the rough edge of this PVC isn't hitting my real seats. But uh, yeah, it keeps your, your setups vertical. That way they're not bouncing around as much. Your reels aren't banging against each other as much. This next mod is really neat. And it has to do with your sand spikes and your sand flea rake if you have one so this cart there's nowhere to store your sand spikes what some people do is they'll drill holes through here and then run like some 550 cord through it and like lash them together that way you can like strap them on your back or strap them on here somewhere and uh for the record these pvc sand spikes for one you can make them yourself that's the cheapest way to do it because pvc pipe is cheap uh, they work just as good as the fancy metal ones that I'm about to show you And I recently went out with my brothers and we put 10 rods out and we use these PVC ones and the metal ones and they do the exact same thing But the ones that I use Are these metal ones? They're made by the same company fishing mate um, And again, I'm not affiliated with this company at all. I bought all these um, but they have these feet on them that you stand on and you can push them down into the sand faster um, If you're not catching fish at the spot that you're at the secret is to move you have to move 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 If you're not catching fish and you stay there, you're making a big mistake. They're just not there move But this whole situation makes it to where I can move spots faster um, but you can see a cool feature of this cart is there's a rack that is built into the cart to carry my sand spikes and my sand flea rake. And what I do when I'm transporting it is I get a bungee cord and I just lash them together. That way I can pull them all out. It's hard to do one hand with a camera. And they stay together. Now, again, another super cool thing. You're only gonna get this with Brian Curlett with Surf Fishing Solutions, or if you find a guy that can fabricate aluminum. Uh, these are made by him. And if you can see, they make bolt-on uh, sand spike racks for your cart. All those companies that I mentioned earlier, but they bolt onto the side. This is actually cut into the frame and it has these notches on it. You can see. And what that does is when I store this in the truck, I take my spikes off and I'll lay them in the truck bed. That way I'm not worried about them bouncing out on the highway. And then I flip these in and now they're locked in and it's compact. And it look at it just looks so nice and flush. That's, that's what you're getting when you, it, it costs a lot of money, um, but you're getting that kind of detail. We'll talk about the bait tray now. These aren't really mods, more of like tips. Um, I got uh, this ruler made. There was excess from when they did my boat and I just stuck a piece on here. And I wanted to show you, the reason I did that is it's a hook catch. So now I have this hook down in here. So if I break, break off a rig or I see a hook is bent or a lure, I, if, if I wanna change lures, I can just hook that into this and I don't gotta worry about the hook being out and like sticking me and the barb is completely down in there. So that's pretty neat. Another thing is on the Fishing Mate Seniors, the stock bait trays, they have these holes in them 
these are sinker guy sputnik weights we'll talk about the sputniks for one second and then i'll get back to this point but i use all sputnik weights now and the reason why is um even if it's not a super rough day a sputnik weight when you reel it back in the sinker guys they will break off and you reel it back in and this weight will come in smooth most people are using these pyramid sinkers which is absolutely fine but the deal is when you reel this in through the sand it's gonna bump 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 all the way back in and it's just kind of annoying and it makes it uh not as easy to get your weight back in i know that's a small detail but all these little details they add up and i really think that all of them together it will help you catch more fish and have more fun also my rods and reels now you can see this is what i used to use before they're all different they all have different line on it i fished with these for years and i caught a ton of fish um, but when you, if you want to go more advanced get all matching rods and reels and the reason for that is is i want you to start thinking about your rods and reels like golf clubs right i know i have over the bar 13s 12s and 10s if i pair that with a four ounce sputnik weight and i do that every single time my casting is going to be more consistent and i can cast further and more accurately having all the same rods and reels and you don't have to do this all at once just slowly acquire it together but four ounces sinker guy sputniks is what i use on over the bar rods and reels and that spin fisher 6500 live liners with 25 pound true braid on it and then i have two slammer 5500s with 50 pound true braid on it and i use that for throwing lures for big fish but i also have quick clips on my rigs so i can throw a set rig pompano rig on there just as quick and use those as short rods and I'm not worried about casting distance on the tens because they're intended to cast short uh, if you're using uh, set rigs on it. But if I hook into a big giant jack and I have 50 pound braid with 50 pound fluorocarbon leader on it or a bonita or whatever, I can horse that fish in very fast with those slammers. But going all the way back, these holes in here, these are also made by the sinker guy. They just uh, thread on. And I have all my Sputniks looped into my bait tray. So what I'll do is uh, these are my spares. I keep the ones that I'm going to put on the rods in this bucket in my handle, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but I'll use my rig bag, cut a bunch of shrimp, cut a bunch of fish bites, and let it sit in here. And now I can quickly just grab a rod, quick clip, grab a weight, put it on grab one of those sand spikes with the feet on it dig it down into the sand cast and then i'm going and i can just as quickly reel it in use the quick clip put the weight back in the bucket put the rod in the holder put the sand spike in the rack and then now i can move to another spot so very very cool features but what i want you to do now is start thinking about your rods and reels uh, and align all that like golf clubs or a bowling ball right I know that if I pair a 4-ounce Sputnik on my rods, I have two over-the-bar 13s, two over-the-bar 12s, two over-the-bar 10s with Spin Fisher 5 live liners on them, and they all have 20-pound true braid on them, on the live liners. If I'm casting that 4-ounce weight and I have all the same rods and reels, I can start casting more consistently further and more accurately than if I have all different rods and reels with different line and all that stuff on it. And then on my set rigs, double drop pompano rig rods, I got the live liners. And then on my tens, I have slammers on them with 50 pound braid. And I have quick clips attached to all of my rigs. That way I can throw lures with these. Or if I want, I can quick clip off that uh set rig and then throw on a lure and now i have 50 pound braid with a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader that way i can horse in a big fish like a bonita or a jack or a big bull red or whatever 
Um, so yeah, having all matching rods and reels is definitely a, a game changer if you're trying to go up into the more uh, advanced level of surf fishing. All right, now we're gonna talk about the handle. The handle is the best feature of this cart. So it's tubular aluminum, reinforced on the bottom. If it doesn't have that reinforcement, you have the potential to bend the handle and you're not gonna have as much leverage on it. But now I wanna push this cart and I wanna show you how easily, even with it completely loaded down with stuff, how easily I can push this cart around. We'll just take a quick lap in the yard. And this has six rods on it, all my tackle, all my camera gear. You can see I can easily push this down and then turn it. Pretty sweet. Uh, the reason that's so easy is the balance point of everything is all custom made perfect, right? So now let's talk about the handle itself. Um, a super cool feature is it has molly lock spaced bars on here, if you can see. And if you watch the channel and you know, follow me on Facebook, whatever, you know I'm in the Navy. I took these brown pouches off of my uh, air crew survival suit. And like this is a Prick 90 radio pouch that I use as a coffee cup holder. I have my pliers molly locked on here, my water bottle. And then sunscreen. There's a sidewinder flashlight in here. And this is a Spyderco knife that came out of my vest that is made out of corrosion resistant metal that I use to cut fish and bait or whatever. This pouch, I put my cell phone and my wallet in. It's pretty nice. So I make all these videos. Uh, what I do is I loop my camera bag onto here. And even if it's not a camera bag, whatever bag you want to take, I just sling it down on here and it hangs. So I have a USB charger to charge all of my batteries and my phone or whatever GoPro backup GoPro all the batteries all that stuff and then uh, These baskets and bucket have brackets built in for them So when I'm fishing uh, My rigs and stuff that I'm cutting off I throw it all into this bucket while I'm not using it and then this basket Is where I hold my rig bag and the rig bag is sweet. We'll talk about that for a second. All right, now let's talk about my rig bag. Everybody loves this thing. I get so many comments about this in my videos. This is made by Florida Surf Tackle, the same company that makes these fishing rods. They're the over the bar made by Florida Surf Tackle. If you're interested in any of Florida Surf Tackle stuff, over the bar rods, rig bag, leave me a comment and I can help you get that stuff. But this rig bag, I love it, man. Uh, this has all of my tackle in it, ready to go. We're giving away one of these at 20,000 subscribers, full of rigs tied by me. Uh, with the help of DS Custom Tackle. They're the ones who make all these floats and all this terminal tackle. And let me tell you, it's the best that I've used. I, I really dig it. Um, but this bag, it has these like Ziplocs that are looped in on these little metal rings. And what I do is I tie all of my rigs at the house myself. And I put them in these little bags that I get from the craft section at Walmart. You could probably get them in a lot of other places. Uh, this is a local rig, Green Gitems. I don't know if you ever heard of them, but they say that they're amazing. I haven't used it yet. That'll be in an, another video. But yeah, I tie all my rigs. I'm starting to transition to tying all triple drop rigs because the secret for you is that's what commercial pompano fishermen do. And theoretically, more hooks and bait in the water, more fish. Then I keep my fish bites in here too. I used to have a ton of bags of them, but now I just have one of every flavor. Shrimp, easy crab, flea, and clam and I cut them into little triangles, that way they're ready to go. Uh, and my lures, all that is in here as well. My jigs, all that. And then I use quick clips on all of my rigs. That way I can snap on these rigs quick. If I break one or wanna change it, I just hook it on here, grab another one, quick clip. So I'm not tying any knots on the beach. Uh, as opposed to back in the day, I would have all this stuff just in a plastic bag with a store-bought store commercial off the shelf uh, pompano rig and this is thing is six bucks and it has the wrong hooks on it those are kale hooks you want to use circle hooks and flip flop floats with b like this is it's just not good man uh you want to use some high quality rigs uh like these these are made by green get them but some other local good ones are 
Uh, the sinker guy makes them, Frisky Fins, Salty's Pompano Rigs. But the best thing that you can do is tie your own rigs, and I have a video about that on the channel. If you look through my other videos showing you exactly how I do this fast. All right, the last thing that I want to show you is you're asking yourself, how do I get this big cart in and out of my truck with all this stuff on it weighed down uh, quickly and easily? The answer is an aluminum folding set of ramps. This is one. You need two. Uh, from Harbor Freight or wherever you want to get them. Lowe's has them too, but you want to get aluminum ones because they're not going to rust and they're lighter. But this thing folds open. I lay it on my tailgate and then I'll just roll the cart up into the truck and then tighten it down with some straps and I'm ready to go. I can get the cart in and out of the truck very, very fast. So I know that's a lot of stuff and it is a lot of money. Uh, like I said, this is a more advanced video. You are absolutely fine using a stock surf fishing cart with cheaper rods and reels. These are pin fierce twos that I've had since 2016 on mixed match rods. If you go out there with this, you will catch the same fish. You'll have a, an amazing time. But if you're getting more serious about surf fishing and you want to do, uh, you know, what some of the guides do or the more advanced surf fishermen, I tried to show you some of that stuff by showing you my cart. Uh, do it slowly. Over time, it's a lot of money. You don't want to get a divorce over this. But uh, I hope that this video helped you out. If you got any questions about any of this stuff or any of the products that I have in this video, uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, those comments, they help drive the YouTube algorithm. That way these videos get more views. I really appreciate that. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. I hope that you guys learn from this. And uh, like I said, this is the way I do it. I'm not saying it's the best way. It's just my way. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.